thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And in this segment of our program, um, I want to talk to the nice guys out there who haven't met the one yet. In fact, you're so nice, you haven't met anyone. Oh, sure, you've met people. And you've sat there listening to them tell you about their husband. But you yourself are such a nice guy, you just can't bring yourself to close the deal. You feel like you're being trampled on. One woman after another. You know what I'm talking about. By the way, uh, at the same time I want to talk to you boys, I want to talk to a certain kind of woman this hour. I want to talk to the women who go out on dates with guys like this. Let them buy drinks and dinner and take you out to the movies or concerts or whatever. And at the same time, you're checking out early and then getting laid by somebody else. I want the guys to hear what's going on when they're not closing the deal. All right, so guys, I want the nice guys who go out on dates but just can't seem to get sex. Just can't seem to hook up. And then the girls who go out with nice guys who, um, well... The nice guy pays for dinner, pays for drinks, takes you away for the weekend. You don't have to do anything with him. You know, kind of like a gay friend, except he's not gay. He's a gay friend in every other sense of the word. You know how it is, ladies. I want to talk to the women on the other end of this, okay? You tell them about all the great sex you have with other people. You tell about the people in the past who abused you and you were having sex with them six times a day. They were so abusive. Oh, yeah. My ex-boyfriend used to beat the crap out of me, but, uh, you know, he came over here and we had sex every night. Ever been with a woman like that? Oh, yeah. He cracked me in the mouth and he, uh, he uh, slapped me and he punched me around a few times. And, yep, every night we were having sex. And you're with somebody like that and she won't have sex with you? Maybe, ladies, you um, just take some peculiar, perverse pleasure in telling guys about all the guys you've been with, while at the same time you you use the nice guy for whatever he can provide, and then you uh, tell him at 9 o'clock or 9.30, Woo, boy, look at the time, gotta go. Girls, you're the ones who answer the cell phones in the middle of dates. Can I call you back? I'm with a friend. Yeah, I'm having dinner with a friend of mine. We'll be done in about 15 minutes. Uh-huh. My friend here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a friend. That's right. But I'll be out here in 15 minutes. You know those calls. And I've said on the air before, you know how I know about those calls? Because I've been on the other end of those calls. Well, you're having dinner with Poindexter. I'm, uh, preparing, uh, to drop a little booze into you and then nail you hard. All right, so uh, you understand what I'm looking for. Guys who are so nice. And you, you know, you're so nice, you know you're nice. In fact, people tell you all the time, you're so nice. I can't understand why you can't meet a girl. You're such a nice guy. Has anyone ever said that to you, boys? You are such a nice guy. I can't believe you're always alone. You're such a nice guy. Ladies... Do you date guys who are like this? And you're having sex, right, with somebody else while you're dating these guys, aren't you? Tom, 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 I've always told myself, don't call Tom and disagree with him, you're going to lose. <laughs> but here I am. The Tom Likey Show. Tom Likas Show. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. All right, 
I'm dedicating an hour to those nice guys out there who just can't get a girl. And the girls who date them but won't have sex with them or get serious about them. Right now, all of the callers are the guys. We'll see if the girls uh, actually get in here. Brandon, I'm the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how are you doing? I'm okay. Good. Good to hear it. You want to hear about a nice guy? Yeah, is that you? Listen to this. I was talking to one of my friends today. She's planning a big girls' night out. Doesn't have too many friends out in our area. Right. Big girls' night out. Pajama party, dinner, nails, everything. I got invited. No! Yeah. It wow! My balls to hear that. Wow! Unbelievable! Yeah, that's what I said so, too. I couldn't believe it. I all I could do was sit there with my mouth wide open. You told her that? Yeah, I was like, "Why me?" You know, and of course, I was like, "Look, I'd probably try to sleep with all your friends before anything else would happen." Well, she probably thinks that her friends wouldn't sleep with you. Yeah, that's true too. Probably. <laughs> How did you get pegged to such a nice guy? And that's just the way I am. If somebody needs a favor, I'm there. If, you know, somebody needs something done, I'm doing it. Somebody needs, you know, anything, who do they call? Me. Now, is part of your game plan here, you think if you're nice enough, one of these girls will feel sorry for you and take you in like a puppy dog? Something like that. You know, there, there are a lot of nice girls out there. They're hard to find. But when you do find them, it's worth it in the long run. Oh, you really think that, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you don't get laid in the meantime. Oh, actually, quite a bit. I, I try to keep that life separate from the good life. Oh, so um, you do get laid quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. But you just can't find a girlfriend. No, nothing serious. So you want, you have the Madonna whore complex. You want a really nice girl to settle down with, but you want to you want to F every slut in town. Absolutely, nothing wrong with that. As long as you can keep those two things separate, then you're golden. Now, once you get married, won't you be bored? No, not not necessarily. When you find that, right those nice girls, they're generally nice all the time. You know, I, uh, here's what I find: people don't compartmentalize their lives. Yep. People who are crazy, out of control, frequently prone to doing uh, irresponsible uh, things, mm -hmm. wild in the sack. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice girls who are responsible, thoughtful, caring, generally, uh, you know. They don't do much in the sack. Yeah, well, I'm working on one right now. I'm 23. She's 19. She was homeschooled. You know, she's been working at State homeschooled. College. Homeschooled? Yeah, homeschooled. Really? And, and right now, I've been talking to her, and some of the things that she's been saying, absolute wild in the sack. Guaranteed she's going to be crazy. She's homeschooled and wild in the sack. Yeah. Now, you know what those homeschoolers are teaching, don't you? Oh, yeah. Those are conservative Christians. Yeah. Yeah, but trust me, if you find them right and you can teach them and show so them... So she's a conservative guy, Christian who's wild in the sack. Absolutely. Hey, everybody's different. you got to realize that, you know, some people say one thing but live another way. Uh-huh. So uh, she is not a virgin, I take it? Uh, not at this time, no. Well, what, is she going to become one in the future? Yeah, well, no, no, but trust me, it, I'll give her a good working over. Oh, yeah? You're going to break her in good. Oh, yeah. That's the way they need to be taught. Uh-huh. But if she's such a nice girl and she's been homeschooled, maybe she doesn't want that. Yeah, well, then she wouldn't be the one for me, then. <laughs> what I'm saying is, when you find a nice girl, if you're used to being out with all these sluts and banging the crap out of these uh, broads, isn't it possible you'll be bored with the nice girl? No, no. Cause no? I, I know what you're saying with the whole nice girl thing. But when you find one, one that you will bring home, one that, you know, you can trust and relate to, I guarantee it would be worth it in the long run. Guarantee it? Yeah. Well, how would you know if you've never done it? Oh, I've known a lot of nice girls, like the one girl... But you didn't marry her. any of them. You didn't live with them. Yeah. You don't know yeah. if you'd be bored or not. Well, that's true. That's true. But you that's know, once you here. find that girl next door, you find out that in bed she's the girl next door. Yeah, yeah. Okay, honey, if you need sex, go right ahead. Let yeah. me know when you're done. Anything you need. Here, let me spread my legs. Is that wide enough? Okay, go ahead. But that's why I got Is that you good, honey? Am I good for you? 
How's that? I do anything, anything for my baby. Oh. Yeah. You might I be guess. bored to tears. Yeah, well, we'll see when the time comes. We'll see when the time comes. Yes, we will. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Christian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, hello. How are you doing today? Do you care, Christian? Uh, actually, I think I do. I want to know how you personally are doing today. Great. Awesome. I'd like to represent the group of young men in this country who are constantly the nice guys. So you'll get to know a girl, and you'll start talking, thinking, okay, the more I listen, the closer we'll get to her, and therefore maybe get some fun. But what ends up happening is that you become the friend and only the friend. So, first of all, I'd just like to generally complain about this. And second of all... I well, first of all, you can never, never get off the friend list and onto the lover list. If you allow yourself onto the friend list, it's never happening. So how do you prevent that from happening? Uh, d d tell her when she starts telling you about her boyfriends or her past. Tell her, hey, what am I, your gay friend? Hey, you know, tell it to your girlfriends. <laughs> All right. Uh, and, then, and then when they when it's like, well, I consider you my friend, it's like, hey, I got enough pals. All right, well, and that's I got the friends. Reason. You got to talk like a bad guy. All right. All you right, got to well, be a bad that, guy. That situation, don't you think those be like, well, later and walk away? I mean, that's happened to me before. You would, well, it, you know, there is a certain amount of rejection when you pursue anything. Jobs, women, doesn't matter. But you would be amazed how many women you would be afraid of offending when you say something really dirty to them. Melt. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Thank you for that, Tom. I'm here to help, Chris. You know the bomb hit, man? Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Georgie, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? All right, Georgie. I just started listening to you Monday, and I must say, I found a new god. I, Thank you. The nicest guy of nice guys. I actually waited two years for a girl to get to put out. Two years. Two years. I dated her. I took her places. I helped her pay bills that she couldn't cover. Oh. Uh, I sent flowers to work for her. I bought her jewelry. Oh, she was laughing at you and telling all her friends about you, too. Oh, yeah. One of her friends finally pulled me aside and said, Look, you really want to close the deal on her? Buy her this necklace and she'll set you... She, sorry. She said she'll screw you. And so finally, that's what I did. I was sexually frustrated. I went and bought the necklace. And what happened? I got laid and it was horrible. Yeah, well, because you were dealing with a hooker. You know, and... I mean, I don't know how to get out of this nice guy trend. Well, uh, first of all, don't become a friend, ever. That's why we tell the guys, three strikes, you're out. Well, I the purpose of, go purpose of going out with women is to get laid. Anytime you're doing anything else, helping them in any way, lending the money, painting their apartments, giving them a ride somewhere... You have fallen into the friend category from which you can never recover. Don't you ever be doing favors for women. Don't you ever be uh, 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 being around for them when they need you. Women respect guys who are not around. You know, they, they love to complain about how guys are jerks. Why do they keep dating them? I don't know. Because they find jerks to be sexually attractive. Guys who are not desperate and in need. Yeah. My foreman turned you on, turned you on, turned me on to you, you know, because my girl, my present girlfriend, comes over to the job site and he sees that I gave her money. He's like, "You got to listen to this guy. You're an idiot." Mm -hmm. And so I started listening to you. Does it make sense to you, Georgie? It makes sense to me now. Excellent. And you're on my radio three o'clock to eight o'clock every day now. I love that. So, if you can't take me out with. I don't even know which ones you got, but mm -hmm. however. We'll just take, uh, how about we'll take you out Lacey Peterson style, just just because you sound the kind of guy who'd appreciate it. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. All right, first female caller here, Gloria on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Yes, I totally agree with you. Nobody wants a nice guy, and the girls that do want or are going out without the, the nice guys, 
know that by giving them sex, they can get whatever they want, whenever they want, go wherever. And so basically anyone that's in a relationship with a nice guy, it's probably someone that's, you know, looking to get things out of it. Oh, I have no doubt about it. I've always said, I tell the boys, let Poindexter pay for dinner, and then you hook up with her later. Yeah, well, and I mean, I unfortunately work with a couple nice guys who I have this argument with all the time. Uh, girls going to keep pushing you, keep pushing you, see how far you're going to get. Right. Until you, you know, say, hey, stop it. That's right. So, yeah, you're on the right track. You guys listen. Nobody wants a nice guy. But you have to have limits. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. you got to cut them off of the past. Cut them off of the knees. Yes. I mean, who wants a wimp? Nobody wants a wimp. I mean, I'm not saying someone who wants to be abused, but mm -hmm. you have to set limits, and that's the point. If you don't set the limits, forget it. You're done. And if the girl's going out with you, you can believe that she's going after whatever she can get. So um, open your eyes, listen, and then uh, don't be such a nice guy. Thank you, Gloria. Thanks. Bye. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Jesse on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Jesse. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Okay. All right. So here's my problem. Every female I know ends up turning into a friend. And I can't get out of that 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 friend thing, you know. Like like you said a second ago, you know, you, you're not going to get out. So I'm like... But, you, but you're playing a part in that. Do you understand? Like... Too much of a nice guy. Right, and too much listening. Hmm. Women, I'll bet, are talking to you, talking, 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 and you're trying to be the listener? Aren't you? Yep. Yeah, well. <laughs> yep, that's the deal. Yeah, well, that's why uh, they won't take you seriously. Yeah. Because the guys who are having sex with them, they have yeah. nothing to say. Yeah. And they don't want to hear what the chick has to say either. You know, I've taken your advice in the past, and like, and you know, I've been listening to you for like a little over a year and a half. Uh -huh. And I've, you know, I had the chick, you know, hit on me, and I treated him like trash, you know. And like three hours later, and going at it with her, right? You know, and like, and she was begging me to have, you know, to like, hey, please take my number. And this girl's a ten, uh huh, you know, an Orange County ten, uh huh, you know, and. It, you know, and she ca she called me after three days. You know, she was you know clawing at my back. You know, while I was leaving her house. You uh, know, yeah. You know, and three days later she calls me up and I blow her off. And you know, I would only for like probably about three weeks. I only called her after ten, like you say. So now, haven't you learned from this experience? I have, but for some reason I'm a dumbass. I don't put it into I don't put it into practice on a regular basis, you know. Because when you have put it into practice, it's worked, hasn't it? it the, with the certain types of chicks, yeah. The kind that put out. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's yeah the the ones that put out, but like you know, slutty chicks are cool, but it's like. Are you looking to get married? Or are you looking to get laid? No, I just somebody. Hey, come on. You can't use that word on the air. Please. It's twice. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just, I don't know. I just like chicks that uh, that I can hang out with, you know, and still... Uh, well, that's that's your problem, because those chicks are not going to have sex with you. So you can't have it both ways, then? Nope. Hmm. I mean, you can hang out with chicks after you've had sex with them. But if you hang out with them before you have sex with them, you will never have sex with them. Yeah. First, like you have to get laid. Huh. Yeah, it's true. Everybody's got to do it. No, but the point is, you have to get laid first. Hmm. First, first, you get laid. And then, and then talk to them as long as you want. And well, you can hang them. out with them then. Once you be, then it's okay to be friendly with them. As long as it's understood that at some point in the day, they're taking their clothes off. <laughs> and just make it nice and clear right off the bat. That's right. Hmm. Hey, Tom, uh, can you take me out of uh, THX? Absolutely, Jesse. Here you go. Awesome. Thanks. one 800 tom is our telephone number. Jay on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? I'm all right, Jay. I got a question for you. Yes. I've been with a girl for about a year, and uh, 
I moved out from New Jersey to California for her. And uh, I'm now noticing that she wants the badass guy, but I don't know how to be the badass guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I say that? Yeah, of course you can. Now, um, did you go to college? No, actually, I'm a telecommunications engineer. I just got out last year. What does that mean? Um, I do... Uh, I lead technicians through jobs on site when they install phone systems right. for uh, banks and stuff. Did you have a, a job before you left New Jersey? No. All right, so you did not have a job. So you did not quit a job to come to Los Angeles? No, I didn't. All right. And uh, so you come here, and uh, what has she done to indicate she wants a, a bad boy? Well, you know, everything was going fine until, like, the past four months. She, like, started telling her friends that she's pissed off because I don't argue with her, and... I'm always stepping down, and, you know, I never stick up for myself, and lately, you know... Well, why don't you? I don't know how, like... You don't know don't how? Know. Does she argue with you? Does she nag you? Does she harass you? Yes, she does. Well, why don't you argue back? I try to, and Maybe then I feel tried. bad about it later. Why do you feel bad about it? I don't know, because she'll give me the cold shoulder. So and, what? You know. Guess what? It sounds like there's a lot of makeup sex in your future, if only you'd learn how to stand up for yourself. Oh, that's what I'm hoping for, but how do I just... But, uh, by the I... way, at 23, you're too young to have a girlfriend anyway. Much less a girlfriend you move 3,000 miles to be with. Think so? I mean, oh, yeah, well, course. I know the moving is crazy, definitely. Well, not only that, you're, uh, you're under 25. It's too young. Mm hmm All right. How old is she? She's 21. Yeah, too young. But if you insist on doing this, which I think is a bad idea, and I think what you need to do is you need to give her what she wants. To start putting my foot down? And yeah, put your foot out. down. All right, I think I just... Women to want to be treated like crap. Do you understand that? See, I'm getting that. I just started listening to you when I moved out here. And, that, uh, that's why every woman you've ever met tells you what a jerk the last guy was. Yep. Like she, could, like she couldn't tell. Yeah, they stay with him for years and years. That's right. You're absolutely right, sir. That's right. Well, I, 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 if, I had, if I had a dollar... For every woman I dated who told me about her ex-boyfriend, who was abusive, who she stayed with for a year, year and a half, three years, five years, I'd, I'd be a lot richer than I am today. I think I just needed to hear it from a higher-up, because all my friends were the same way. They're all, you know, real pushovers, and I just never had, you know, the uh, the proper guidance, I guess you could By say. By the way, are your parents still together? No. Of course they're not. Nope. Yeah, so you didn't have your dad around to teach you how to be a jerk. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Hang on a second here, Jay. Uh, Thomas, what did you want to say to Jay? This guy's absolutely pathetic. This guy <laughs> needs to cheat on her and get caught with one of her friends. She'll never leave him. What do you think about that, Jay? Oh, man, cheat on her? You need what to bang one of her friends and make sure she finds out about it. Or disappear for a day and a half. <laughs> At least. Yeah. That's what well, least that's what I'm... Do. That's what I'm thinking about doing, just disappearing for a while. They love you move, that. You move coast to coast to follow this chick? Well, not only that, I knew there was job opportunity, too, so it was kind of... Whose job opportunity? Hers or yours? Mine. Yeah, but are you living with her? No. So you found your own she, place? Yeah, I got my own oh, place pathetic. out here because I knew... You were pathetic. You followed her from, that, from coast to coast? I didn't, I didn't she follow her. Banging we moved... her boss. Is she banging her boss? No, she doesn't, she doesn't uh, have a job. She goes to college. Who's paying for that, Jay? Um, she is, actually. You well, most of it's through scholarships and whatnot. Right, so you don't help her? Um, I pay her car insurance. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> what a lizard. You probably pay more than that. No, I really don't. I really don't. Uh -huh. I cut down on doing that the past like couple you months. You cut down on doing that? <laughs> you give her rides everywhere? No, no, no. Now no, that, that she has I car don't. insurance, she can drive herself around. All right. This is true. What do you think about that, Thomas? Uh, this guy's pathetic. He, <laughs> it's sad. He, you should just start dating men. There's plenty of them out here in California. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to put You're my You're a girl yourself. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, oh. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Terrible. I don't know what to do about this guy. Well, I, I think we've just about done enough here. 
Call 1-800-5800-TOWN. Well, 1-800-5800-866. Now, let's say you were making the same amount of money you're making now when you were back 25 years old. Oh, are you kidding me? I'd have had more poon. I'd have been I'd, I'd have been banging four chicks a day. I'd be dead. The Tom Likas Show. Awesome. From Los Angeles, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. We're devoting an hour to guys who are so nice. They can't meet chicks, can't hook up, and girls who date, date nice guys don't let them hook up, and they're getting it somewhere else. Eliza on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I really want to know how you are. I'm doing great. Oh, that sounds good. All right, so listen. Here's the deal to all these nice guys. If a girl wants a nice guy to be a friend, she will have a gay friend. This is what gay friends are for, and this is why girls have so many of them. They do not want a straight guy to be their friend. And if they ever get anything from them, whether it's a kiss, a pat on the knee, or even a sympathy lay, it is purely from pity. Purely from pity. It never works out. It never turns into anything else. I don't even think it's from pity. I think these women get something out of these guys. Dinners out on slow nights, drinks, oh. uh, trips, uh, somebody to be with on the holidays when you don't have a real relationship going on. Yes, yes, that's it. That's it. That's exactly it. It's like and those rent-a-boyfriend services you might have read about. I've never heard of that. What is oh, yeah, somebody's done this now, a rent-a-boyfriend service. Where the uh, guy will uh, come over, he'll like uh, listen to you, or he'll go to your parents' house on Thanksgiving, <laughs> and then the, and then the girl just goes out with the bad boys. Go, yeah, right. Goes to weddings with you when you need to show up with a nice guy like your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. All right, I see. I uh, see. But in the reality, uh, there's no sex or anything. You're just paying the guy to be there, and then the rest of the time uh, you go uh, do whoever you like. Right, exactly. And I've look, I've I've had nice guys be my friends. I've given them some sort of a sympathy. And actually, it's more so like you you really wonder. You go, God, I don't know. He's so nice. I don't know. And then you kiss them. It's awful. And then you spend the next like three months treating them like crap, trying to get them to get a clue, to get a hint, so that you don't have to really say the words. I don't want to be with you in a million years. You know. Mm-hmm. So that's that, and I married a bad boy, and he's a bad boy, and I love him. Oh, look at that. But this is the thing. He stands up for himself, and I love that, and he's not abusive, and he's not a jerk, but he's a bad boy. He tells me like it is, and I get off on that. I love that. Yeah. And I'm a former bad girl, too, so it's a nice coupling. You so, know I mean? so you have a problem with, with good guys, nice guys. You got a problem with them. Oh, of course I do. Of course. I think every girl does. I mean, it's. I'm telling you, if you want a guy as a friend, you're gonna, you're gonna have a gay guy friend. I mean, I've actually, you know, said said at one point in time, oh yeah, maybe we should date. Let's go out a few times. And meanwhile, I'm I'm seeing bad boys on the side. I mean, it's just not a good thing. Don't don't believe the girls. They're trying to tell you something by not hooking up with you. Hang on a second, Eliza. Nick, what did you want to say to Eliza? Hi, Eliza. No, you know what? I think you got it the other way around, Eliza. I said, the guys that never want to be friends with the girls. If a guy's trying to be friends with you, he doesn't want to be your friend. You will never find a guy that wants to be a friend with a girl unless he's grown up with that girl since he was like three years old and the families were friends and everything. So if any guy was ever interested in you ever when you were young and, you know, was acting like he was your friend, he would never wanted to be your friend. You just strung those guys along. They never wanted to be your friend. They always wanted a relationship. Oh, sure. No, I believe that 100%. So, but, but why did they never get the clue and move on? And that's something that you disrespect after a while. You know, you say, come on, stop hanging out with me. Go out with some other girl. Get laid for Pete's sake. Well, that's true. But that doesn't always come down to just being a nice guy. That could be just because they're stupid. Well, I would say to be a nice guy is stupid. I mean, it's it's just stupid to be a nice guy because women clearly respond to guys who are not nice guys. Too. You know what, though, Tom, only to a point. See, I got a lot of buddies that, you know, in high school that were, they you know, played the ass and played the badass. And, uh, and you know what, now it's time, you know, everybody's moving on and they're looking to settle down and get some wives. And they've alienated a big broad in a, you know, 500 mile radius. So, that, you know what, if they're going to find a nice broad that wants to marry him that doesn't want an asshole, they got to move. They got to go find a girl out of town because, you know, every girl they ever knew growing up thinks he's a jerk because they slept with her, they slept with her friend, they slept with her sister. <laughs> So they got later. There, on, there, but I there are women like Eliza who would marry a guy like that. 
Well, well that's like true. I did, but however, when I started to date him, he was all over me. He was like, he was a bad boy, and then when he met me, well, oh, God, now you're going to be all over that. I just know it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just contradicted everything. You said, oh, you wanted a bad boy, but you converted him. He's not a bad boy no more. He stands yeah. up for himself, but he was all badass until he met you, and then he became a nice guy. So you see what? You girls don't want... You want to have sex with a bad boy, and you want the bad boy image, and then as soon as you get him, you want to convert him into a nice guy, and he better be there, and he's got to be good. And See, that's why you get all extent. the guys all screwed up. To a certain extent. However... I think there's there's a difference between being a bad boy who's a jerk and a bad boy who is sexy, who stands up for himself, who can look at a girl that's not his wife and go, hey, she's hot. And that's, I mean, I find that attractive. See, you know, you know what? I find... I find that a man's man. I don't. I don't want to consider that a bad boy because I'm a nice guy. I've never been a bad boy, and you know, in high school, I didn't get laid as much as all the other guys because I wasn't a jerk. But you uh-huh. know what? Now you're a little bit older, and you get lots of girls because you are that nice guy. But I'm still a man's man. I'll stand up for what I believe, and I won't take not a you know format, nothing mm-hmm. like that. But still a nice guy. All right. So, have you ever been strung along by a girl? Yes. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think every guy has. Come on now. we got to admit this here. We That's all, we true. all fall into That's the trap true. at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I agree. I agree. All but right. You know what? I, I, just try, I just try and think about the future and, you know, being the bigger person. I don't want Tom saying, you know, if you treat him like crap, you're going to get him. We've all seen it a hundred times. You treat him like crap and you get him. But I think it's more you, s- you get laid by him, right? I mean, it's not that you yeah. get them. I mean, I've never been with a guy long term that was a, just a total jerk of a guy. I don't consider that to be a man either. I, I, I like your um, definition, man's man. A man's man. Give me a man's man. You're a man's man. A guy, that's the guy who's a jerk until you marry him and then he settles down. That's, that's, that's right. Then you get that's bored right. and then you uh, nail another jerk on the side. Tom Likas. 1 800 5 800. Tom. You're so rageful. I have never heard this word, by the way, rageful. But uh, all right, I'll assume your IQ is in the triple digits for the sake of argument. You've never spoken to a psychotherapist. Uh, you're a psychotherapist. Or are you just a psycho? The Tom Likas Show. Like his show, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Pat on the Tom Like his show. Hello, hello Tom. Hello Pat. Um, I've been told that I am a nice guy. I'm still in high school, but I was just wondering. I know that you're the man. You know everything, but um, I think high school girls are different just because they're younger. And I'm probably wrong, but I just think that. Um, I don't know exactly if you know how all the women think in high school, but um, aren't they different? Because if I sleep around a lot, I mean, I'm not a virgin, but if I did, like, try to get laid by all the girls in high school, like, wouldn't they think that I was a player and they wouldn't want to sleep with me? Uh, Women love to say they hate players, and then they sleep with them anyway. Because uh, one thing a woman cannot stand is that you've slept with all the other women, but not them. Oh, they say other things, but they do (laughs) what I'm telling Really? Sure they do. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. So, well, How do players become players? They, <laughs> I guess you're right. They sleep with everybody. All right, so basically just um, also... Don't I, pay I'm, any attention to what women say, okay? All right. Women always say they want nice guys, and then they date jerks. Okay. Um, I've also, I mean, I don't think I'm a nice guy. I don't let women push me around. I say my mind. I'm pretty blunt. But, like, I, I don't lie. I don't lie. I just... You know, I listen, and I mean, I I was at military school, all boys military school for a little while, and like now that I'm back out, I kind of want to get get laid as much as I can until I go into the military. But um, I'm still kind of I don't I don't know. You're afraid. Yeah. How could you be going to military uh, if you're afraid? Well, I'm not. There's you're, certain things I'm afraid of. I mean, well. Yeah, what? You're not afraid of terrorists, but you're afraid of girls. Yeah, something like that. That's pretty bad. Yeah, well, how how can so I? You could face mom? Osama bin Laden, but not a girl. Yeah. Think I, about that. I was just wondering, like, how I could, how I, I, I know I'm not a bad-looking guy. I just don't have the confidence that girls are looking for. 
But <laughs> you need to have the confidence, even if you're faking it. All right. You need to be a bastard. <laughs> okay. That's what you need to be. All right. Uh, I'll try. I'll try harder, Tom. Look, everything you've been doing, start doing the opposite. Okay. Whatever that is. It's the total opposite. Yeah. All right. Just do a 180. Trust me. It works. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.